I really want to hurt somebody right now. Uh, I can see that. Why don't you tell me why? I went to the club where he works and I saw her dance. So you risked your parole to go to a strip club? These guys there, they're losers and they're drunks. They look at everybody like she's some piece of meat. Michael, we already talked about this. It's a strip club. That's your job. You can't risk getting into trouble. Yeah, he says it's just a job, but I can see it in your face or eyes. Some faraway look like she's not even there. Then some guy started throwing money at her and wanted to snap his neck. You didn't. It made me sick. It made me feel like I was trapped in my cell with Carter again. Michael, I need to know that he's okay. Damn it. I told him not to come to the club. Oh. I never wanted Michael to see me at work. Showed up at once. He saw me on stage. The look on his face, I looked out and I saw him. And then he just got up and ran out. Abby, I am so sorry. I never meant for this to get so complicated. I am not sorry that you introduced us. He's the best thing that's happened to me in a long time, but his mother is dead set against us, and what just happened makes her right. He was devastated. That's why I have to find him and fix this. All those guys watching Abby, they don't even know anything about her. They know she's sweet, smart, fun to be around, that she cares about other people. She has plans, you know? She'd have to be a, a dancer forever. Those guys are sick. Like Carter was sick with the stuff he said and when he... Carter's dead. Yeah, and I wish I was the one who killed him. You know, for a second tonight, it was like he was one of those people that was watching Abby. And I wanted to fight him. I wanted to use everything you taught me to beat him down and make him pay. Well, Carter wasn't there, it was just... So why don't you guys watch Nabby do her job? Uh, Michael's mom threatened me and, and tried to pay me off. Oh, I know that well. Trust me, I've been on the receiving end of Carly's outrage. When Jason and I first got together, she called me a gold digger and a user. That pretty much sums it up. Plus, Carly is all over this age thing. Oh. You know, I mean, I know Michael's young, but what is too young? I mean, hasn't Carly ever been with anybody much older yeah, than her? Yeah, but listen, I, I know, but that, that is his mother, and she's overprotective. I should have warned you about that in the beginning. Look, the truth is, I'm not sure I know how to defend myself. I really like Michael, but Carly's not wrong about me. I make a living taking off my clothes for strangers. I mean, what part of that no, makes no, no. me Abby, any good don't, Michael? Don't, don't do that. You know what? I just thought that I was just going to do you a favor and move on. I didn't expect Michael to be so special, you know? And, and he is much more mature than I expected, and he's been through so much. I'm just, you know? Uh, I, I'm trying to understand this. I'm, I'm, are you developing real feelings for him, or are you feeling sorry for him? No, it's not that at all. I mean, Michael respects me. Do you know how refreshing that is? I mean, I... In that first night, you know, when we were in the hotel room? Yeah. Michael insisted that I tell him my real name. He wanted to know me. A guy that's this great making me feel special. I'm not walking away from that. Well, good. Because I don't think you should. And if I see Michael, really? I'm going to tell him that you're looking for him. Yeah. Are you going to be okay? Yeah. Are you sure? I am going to be okay. Thank you, Sam. Please call me <laughs> if you need anything. Okay. Good. Thank okay. you. Yeah. Hey, Abby. Brandon. How did you find me? I missed you, baby. How about a smile? So how, how come you went to the club? I was telling Dad about Abby. They met at the hospital the night a bus crash. And I tried to tell Dad how special she was. 
because I figured sitting next to somebody in the ER doesn't exactly tell you much. That uh, brought up the, the strip club he used to run. Paradise. Yeah, that's it. You ever been there? No. no it was a loose club by the time I went to work for Sonny. You know, Dad said I couldn't possibly understand what it's like to work in a strip club, and I thought, you know, yeah, he's right. I had to see it for myself. It makes me sick to think Abby's there every single night. I mean, does she ever say that she doesn't want to be there? No. No. Seems like it's her choice to make. You know, whatever Abby's reasons, you and I can't judge. No, she held the mom. She completely jumped yeah, the I'm, I'm more concerned with what it was like for you watching Abby dance and how much it upset you. It made me angry. It was, it was completely demeaning. It made you want to hurt someone. Yeah, that's why I got out. That's good. Michael, it's good you're aware. You did the right thing. Now you need to decide if it's a risk worth taking again. That's her. That's Abby. I need to explain. Michael, I asked you not to come to the club. I know, you didn't want me to see what you do. Because you don't belong there. You could have got into trouble. Abby, why didn't you tell me how much you hated dancing? I don't. Don't, don't, don't lie to me, Abby. I saw your face. Those guys made you sick. It, it's just work. It's how I make my money right now. You know, but... I hope it doesn't change things between us. That we can still be friends. You know, that when you, you look at me, you don't just see me taking off my clothes for other men. I told you, when I'm at the club, I'm not even myself. I am Candy. I mean, she is the one who does the dancing and the stripping, and I, mean, I don't even see who's in the audience. I shouldn't have went to the club. I told you. No, you know what? Go. You shouldn't have, Michael. But it's okay. No, it's not okay, Abby. I went back on a promise, and I don't want to be the kind of guy who does that. Like, what you want isn't important. Everything about you is important to me. I've never felt anything like I feel when I'm with you. You are amazing. You're amazing, Michael. I would have been so sad if you walked out tonight and I never okay, saw you I'm again. Not walk out. I need you, Abby. You're the only one. Yeah.